Hi, so I hope everyone's well. In this video, we're going to be looking at finding uh, the nature of stationary points using differentiation. If you're not sure about stationary points, please follow the link here um, and watch the video on stationary points first. OK, so when we want to find a stationary point, what we do is take our gradient and set it to 0. And we find our gradient by differentiating. That's finding dy by dx. And then set it to 0, and you find the values of x that makes that 0. Um, if we wanted to find the y coordinate, we would just um, substitute our x values back into our expression for y to find the y value. OK, the types of stationary points, we have a maximums, minimums, and points of inflection. Oh. So let's now consider a maximum. So when we look at a maximum, we can see we go from a positive gradient to a negative gradient. So as our x progresses, as our x changes, our gradient changes in a negative way because it goes from positive to negative. And the way I've shown that mathematically is um, to differentiate our gradient a second time with respect to x. That's looking at the rate of change of our gradient. Um, and we find dy by dx squared, which is called the second derivative. And we can see that if our second derivative is next negative, we have a maximum because our gradient is changing in a negative fashion. So with a minimum, we see we start with a negative gradient, which then becomes positive. So this time when we look at our second derivative, we see that um, it will be positive if we have a minimum because our gradient went from a negative thing to a positive thing. So it changed in a positive way. Now, if we have a second derivative which is neither positive or negative but is zero, it could be that we have a point of inflection, but it might also be that we have a maximum or a minimum and further investigation is needed. Luckily, they don't come up so often. OK, so here's just a quick example. Uh, we're going to find the nature of the stationary points of this curve. So first of all, we take our curve, we differentiate it. Remember how we differentiate these? Multiply by the power, take 1 from the power. So this become 3x squared minus 12x plus 9. Because I know I'm going to want to set this to 0 and um, solve it, I'm going to factorize out of 3 and then put it into two brackets. And I hopefully you can just trust me that that and that are all equal. So when we say when does all this equal 0, we look and say it equals 0 when x equals 3 or x equals 1. So now what we're trying to do is work out which, whether x equals, at x equals 3 or 1, we have a minimum, a maximum, or a point of inflection. So what we do is differentiate again. So we just differentiate this part in the normal way. So we multiply by the power, take 1 from the power. So this will become 6x minus 12, 6x minus 12. Then we substitute our points in and see what we get out. So when we put x equals 1 in here, we get 6 minus 12. We get minus 6, which is negative. It's smaller than 0. And therefore, we know that we have a maximum at x equals 1. And then we put x equals 3 in. We get 18 minus 12, so we get 6. So 6 is bigger than 0. And that means we know we have a minimum. So we've identified which point gives us the maximum, which one gives us the minimum. Um, I sort of remember these that they're sort of counterintuitive, they're sort of the wrong way around. So if it's negative, you have a maximum, and if it's um, positive, you have a minimum. OK, just a very quick summary. Um, if you want to find the nature of stationary points, first of all, you have to differentiate, set it to 0. Then you differentiate a second time. And then you substitute in um, the result of your second differential uh, the points that you found from this one. And if you get that d2y by dx squared is smaller than 0, you have a maximum. Bigger than 0, you have a minimum. And equals 0, you're very sad at that point. It could either be a maximum, minimum, or a point of inflection. And you'd have to do some more work to work out what it was. OK, I do hope that's helpful. OK, bye.